Good afternoon. Hello, this is Reverend Jackie Leggett, and I'm the chief servant of this ministry. Faith by Hearing is where we preach and teach the truth of Jesus Christ and his holy word, and nothing but the truth of Jesus Christ and his holy word. So help us, God. This ministry is for your ears only. For we know if your ears are pierced with this living word, then your whole life can be transformed for the glory of God and the upbuilding of his kingdom. Again, good afternoon. Um, happy Monday to you. I hope that the work day hadn't been too stressful on you today. Um, I pray, I pray that uh, you have a chance to listen to this word uh, for it is truly a blessing. Let us pray. Dear Father, we ask, we ask that you anoint your servant to teach and preach this word the best way he knows how. I ask that you anoint him, Heavenly Father, for this task and for this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Our text is going to come out of Proverbs, the fourth chapter, verses 10 through 13. Also, verses 18 through 19 and verses 25 through 27. We're, we're doing a little skipping around, but, but uh, I believe that that these pieces of this same this same uh, chapter is going to really bless us. Uh, this this whole chapter chapter four is about uh, getting wisdom. You know, uh, Solomon shares with us why it's so important to get wisdom. For our time together, um, this message is entitled uh, is entitled. This is not a fairy tale. Our, our text. Verse 10. Listen, listen, my son, my daughter, accept what I say, and the years of your life will be many. Verse 11. I instruct you in the way of wisdom and lead you along straight paths. Verse 12. When we walk, when you walk, your steps will not be hampered. When you run, you will not stumble. Hold on to instructions. Do not let them go. Guard them well, for it is your life. Verse 18. The path of the righteous is like the light of dawn and grows brighter into the full light of day. Verse 19, but the ways of the wicked is like deep darkness, and they do not know what they are stumbling over. Verse 25, let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the path of your feet, and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not... Do not turn to the right or to the left. Keep your feet from evil. What, what, I, I just uh, share with you that for our time together, I've entitled this message, This is Not a Fairy Tale. But what am I referring to when I say, This is not a fairy tale? I want to share with you three things from this text that isn't a fairy tale. And, and those three things are God's instructions is not a fairy tale. God's path is not a fairy tale. And God's deliverance is not a fairy tale. For our time together, I want to show you how our walk with God is like a fairy tale, but not a fairy tale at all. Our sermon illustration is going to come from the Brothers Grimm's 
Little Red Riding Hood, the story of Little Red's Riding, Riding Hood. And it, and it reads as follows. Once upon a time, there was a dear little girl who loved, who was loved by everyone who looked at her, and most of all by her grandmother. There was nothing that she would not have given to the child. Once she gave her uh, a riding hood, a red velvet, which, which suited her so well that she would never wear anything else. So, so she was always called Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother said to her, Come, Little Red Riding Hood, here is a, a piece of cake and a bottle of wine. Take it to your grandmother. She is ill and weak, and they, uh, she is ill and weak, and they will uh, do her good. Set out before it, before it gets hot, and when um, when you're going, walk nicely and quietly, and do not run off the path. We see that Little Red Riding Hood was given some instructions. We see that Little Red Riding Hood was given some instructions. We see that she was told to go to a certain place for a certain purpose, and that she was and there was a path in which she was to take and not stray from. I imagine her. I imagine her mother knew how easily distracted she could um uh, could become. I imagine her mother warned her of the dangers of getting lost if she strayed from the path. I imagine her mother warned her of the dangerous animals lurking in the woods. But the big bad wolf in particular. We like Little Red Riding Hood have been given instructions. We have been given instructions by God. We have been been placed on a path of righteousness for God's purpose. We have been warned of how easy it is to get lost if Something or someone entices us out of the will of God and off the path of righteousness. We have been warned of the big bad wolf of our Christian story. His name is Satan. The Bible tells us that he is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. His, his only desire is to steal, to kill, and destroy us. So this is why we must, we must seek to take hold of God's instructions and to never let them go, for they are our life. God's instruction is not, instructions is not a fairy tale. It is the life force of the believer. Now let's look at God's path. The path of the righteousness, the, the path of the righteous is paved in God's will. And there is a path that deviates from God, God's will that causes people to fall. The grandmother lived out in the woods, half a league from the village, and just as Little Red Riding Hood entered the woods, a wolf met her. Red, uh, Red Riding Hood did not know what a wicked creature he was and was not afraid of him. I wonder if any of us remember when we first start traveling on this road of righteousness. We were fired up and ready to go. Then we were met by our big bad wolf. When Satan first introduced himself uh, to us, we were just as Little Red Riding Hood. We were very unassuming, and we were not afraid because he presented himself. He, he didn't present himself as a wicked creature. The wolf thought to himself, what a tender creature. What a, a nice, plump mouthful 
she will she'll be better to eat than her grandmother. I must act craftily so that I can catch them both. So he he walked for a short time by by the side of Little Red Riding Hood and then said, See, Little Red Riding Hood, how pretty the flowers are about here. Why do you not look around? I believe, too, that you do not hear how sweetly the, the little birds are singing. You walk gravely along as if you were going to school, while, while everything else out here in the woods is merry. Little Red Riding Hood raised her eyes, and when she saw the sunbeams dan beams dancing here and there, the uh, through the trees and the pretty flowers growing everywhere, she thought, suppose I take a fresh nosegay that 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 would please um, the to my suppose I take grandmother a fresh nosegay that will please her too. It is so early in the day that I shall still get there in good time. Satan, just as the big bad wolf, will come across like a friend so that he can find out how best to trap you. Once the big bad wolf knew where she was going, he quickly, he quickly devised a plan to, uh, to not only destroy her, but to also destroy her grandmother. Satan operates in a similar fashion probing us with questions to see how best to ensnare us. Little Red Riding Hood knew that she shouldn't leave the path, but she, uh, she did anyway once her newfound friend discovered the one thing she would leave the path for. Satan, Satan's goal is to do the same as the Big Bad Wolf. And that is to find out the one thing that entices us to step off the path of righteousness and to a place outside of God's will. For, for Little Weary Riding Hood, it was flowers, but what is it, what is that one thing Satan can use to entice you off the path of righteousness? Is it money? Is it a car? Is it a job? Is it a promotion? Is it a house? Is it clothes? Is it love? Is it our spouse? Is, is, it, is it your children? Is it greed? Is it lust? So she ran from the path into the woods to look for flowers. And whenever she uh, whenever she picked up one up, she fancied that she saw a still prettier one further on and ran after it and, and so got deeper and deeper into the woods. Meanwhile, the wolf ran straight, straight to the grandmother's house and locked the door. Satan knows if he can just get us to step off the path of righteousness, we, we will go further than we plan to go, and we will soon get lost. While we're trying to find our way back to the path of righteousness, our enemy runs ahead, run, runs ahead of us to set up his fatal ambush. The wolf lifted the latch, the door sprang open, and, op and, and without saying a word, he went straight to the grandmother's bed and devoured her. Then he, he put on her clothes, dressed himself in her cap, laid himself in, in the bed, and drew the curtains. It's, it is very important to know when we step off the path of righteousness, it is not only, it not only puts us in a place of danger, it also places our family in harm's way as well. Remember, Satan is trying to steal 
to destroy and kill as many people as possible. And he knows that if he can get uh, uh, get you, get us, then if he can get us, then he can get those closest to us. This is why we can't afford to take a break away from our walk with Christ, our walk with God, because too many lives are hanging in the balance. Little Red Riding Hood, however, had been running uh, about picking flowers, and when she saw, when, when she gathered so many that she could not carry anymore she remembered her grandmother and set out on on her way she she was surprised to find the cottage door open and when she went into the room she had such a strange feeling that she said to herself oh dear how uneasy i feel today and at other times i like being with grandmother so much she called out good morning but received no answer, so she went to the bed and drew the curtains. Uh, there lied her grand. There laid his laid her grandmother with her cap pulled far over her face and looking very strange. Oh, grandmother, she said, "What big ears you have! All the better to hear you with, my child," was the reply. But grandmother, what big eyes you have, she said. All the better to see you with, my dear. But grandmother, what large hands you have. All to better to hug you with. Oh, but grandmother, what terrible big mouth you have. All, all to better to eat you. And, and, uh, uh, short and uh, the wolf said said shortly after the wolf said this he bounded out of the bed and swallowed up little red riding hood when the wolf had appeased his appetite he laid down again into the bed and fell asleep and began to snore very loudly we see the big bad wolf with uh we see the big bad wolf with yet another disguise on as he seeks to destroy Little Red Riding Hood. Please don't put it past Satan to be disguised as one of your friends, a teacher, a mentor, a coach, and even one of your closest family members. Remember, Satan is a master of deception and the chief the chief of the illusionist. Now we get to God's deliverance. The hunter, well, the hunter was, was just passing the house and thought to himself, how old, how the old lady is snoring. I must just see if she, uh, she wants anything. So he went into the room, and when he came to the bed, he saw the wolf was lying there. Do I find you here? Uh, do I find you here, you sinner? He said, I have long sought you, but just as he was going to fire at him, it occurred to him that the wolf might have devoured the grandmother and, and that she might still be saved. So he he did he did not fire but took a pair of scissors and began to cut open the stomach of the wolf. When when he had made two snips, he saw the two, he saw the the red riding riding hood shining and then then he made two more snips and the little girl sprang out crying. Ah, oh, how frightened I've been how dark it is inside the, the wolf. After, after the aged grandmother came out alive also, but uh, scarcely able to breathe. Though Satan seems to, this, this, is, this is God's deliverance. Though Satan seems to 
have us and there is no way out. God is still able to send an angel to come get us out of the mess that we've gotten ourselves into. God's deliverance isn't a fairy tale. It is also related that once when when Little Red Riding Hood was again taking cakes to her, her, grand, her old grandmother, another wolf spoke to her and tried to entice her from the path. Red Riding Hood, however, was, was on guard and, and went straight forward on her way and told her grandmother that she, saw, that she met the wolf and that he had, had said good morning to her, but with such a wicked look in his eyes that if they had not been on the public road, she would, was certain that he would have eaten her up. It is important to it is important that we learn from our mistakes like Little Red Riding Hood and be more aware of Satan's tricks so that we don't fall victim twice from the same tricks. Note that another wolf showed up to replace the one that died. Satan will return to try to get us off the path of righteousness once again in hopes that this time he is able to successfully, uh, it, uh, he is successful in taking our lives. Satan doesn't, doesn't use new, new tricks to trap us. He, use, he uses the same old tricks that appeal to our eyes. So, so be on guard and keep to the path of righteousness for it is our life because this is not a fairy tale and the next time we may not have another chance. I hope this message has been a blessing to you. If so, uh, if so, uh, leave a comment on our leave a comment on our page under the Christian testimony. I hope again. I just hope that this this word has been a blessing, and I want to extend. I now want to extend the invitation to uh, three groups of people. Uh, the first group of people are those that don't that that are spiritually lost. Uh, those people who don't have Christ as their Lord and Savior, as their personal Savior. Um, I want to open up the doors of the, uh, the virtual doors of our church to you and extend this invitation. Uh, you can join our virtual church by going to our website at www.faithbyhearingchristianoutreach.com and click on the register button. Uh, this will give you full access to our virtual church. The second invitation I want to extend is to those that know Christ as their personal Savior but don't have a church home. Um, I understand that uh, brick and mortar church may not work out for, for many people and that they may have busy schedules and um, they've They've missed the fellowship of the believers, but it, it's important for us to fellowship with one another. The virtual church, uh, virtual doors of our church is open to you as well. You can join our, our virtual church by going to our website, www.faithbyhearingchristianoutreach.com and click on the register button. This will give you full access to our virtual church. The third invitation is those seeking prayer. Um, if you if you have a prayer request, something that you that you have on your heart and on your mind, someone that you want to pray or want us to pray for, you can leave us a message on Facebook or you can go to our contact page on our website and we'll respond via email to your uh, prayer request within 48 hours. Now, now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord 
show his uh, his show you his kindness and have mercy on you. May the Lord watch over you and give you peace until we meet again. God bless you and keep you.